Welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. Today we are doing another review, and this is a first time product on the channel from any of their lines. This is 2XO American Oak. So this product is double oaked like every 2XO product. Yeah, because two times oak by Dixon Deadman. Super excited to try this. We've heard only good things about yep. 2XO. I mean, we, people have recommended it to us, uh, and not just their upper line, People have recommended this bottle. Yes. Yeah. And so we're very excited to get into this. We are double oak fans, especially sometimes, most sometimes. when it's not a stringent. Yeah. A lot of, not a lot of times. Every now and then we get bottles, like electric, I toast it more so for me than you, but it's a little astringent, it's just not great. This is around that 50-ish to $60 price range. Oh, it reminds me of Woodford double oaked. Same price range, yeah. 22 proof, or 22. It's very watery. <laughs> 92 proof, 90.4 proof. So if it's similar vein, um, same ish price. I mean, very similar product. I think we got going on here. Yeah, I agree 1000%. But you know what? I think I like the bottle design and shape oh of my, this one better. 1000%. Label, label is gorgeous. Clean. It looks like a $400 bottle. Yeah, it does. I and could probably sell this to somebody who doesn't know what they're talking about and be like, okay, that looks expensive. This I, looks <laughs> cheap. You know, that's not going to be great. And we like to do double O. Love this. We're going to try this yeah. with this in a minute. Uh, but. 2XO, beautiful bottle. Dixon Devin has a podcast and he's very much into the bourbon community. Uh, just, you know, my understanding from what I've interacted with his media and content, seems like a nice guy. Yeah. And seems like he really knows his whiskey. Knows his stuff for sure. Yeah. So we're excited to try this, see what it's like. If it's good, I think it has the potential to be one of those constant stays in your shelf for, for that double oak or toasted line. This might be- it's if, beautiful. If it's good and it, if, I mean, it might be in some of our list videos. Yeah, I definitely could see that. But we'll see. So I'm gonna have it for shelves. Nope. Let's give a little news. There we go. That's Holy good. crap! That's 92 proof. Oh my gosh! That smells like 120. Yeah, proof. literally. Flavor wise, not not uh, alcohol wise. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that. It smells very good. And there's a lot of sweetness there, but it's not. It's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. It's it, not. Like some of these double oaks get to be too much. Too much. Like it's. It's not double double fake. oak. Yeah. 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 That's exactly right. It's got a lot going on. It's not super complex. I'm getting just kind of like, you know, a classic double oak nose. It's very, very good. It's quite, very solid. It's a very, very good note. It, it's nothing bad about this whatsoever, which is what I look for on a double oak or toasted nose. Because like we said earlier, some of them can be astringent. Even if the palate's not, the nose is sometimes. Mm -hmm. So great start for this one that it's not astringent. I really like the nose. I think it's opening up. We just popped this before the video. So it's, I mean, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes here, but I think it's getting better as it goes. So solid, man. Mm -hmm. It just keeps getting better, really. Yeah, agreed. Ooh. Chocolatey, sweet mm -hmm. notes, French toast, maple syrup. That blows mm -hmm. the nose out of the water. French toast is such a good note. But that is really good, holy cow. There's no way it's 92 proof. Not in, not in like how it tastes proofy, but the flavor. I mean, I've had 90 proofers that taste like water. It's been a long time since I've had that low of proof of whiskey to mm. taste that flavorful. There was a lot going on in that, that I'm gonna go back for another drink right now because that it, it's still going on, still developing when I finish. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. This might be the perfect kind of pour to kind of connect those bourbon drinkers, whiskey drinkers to a non-bourbon whiskey drinker. It has the sweetness. That's what I say about this. Let's, see, let's, get a little, let's go a little side to side. One is sourced. One is one of the biggest distilleries in the world. Woodford is very much known for the double oak. 2XO, also known for the double oak, but uh, very different brand. And as you guys said earlier, just off of like if they taste the exact same, I'm taking this bottle every day of the week because the way it looks, mm -hmm. just how beautiful the label is and everything about it. The uniqueness, the story, everything. It's a very different nose. This one is that oversweet, I kind of, I think, after coming off that one, that I was talking about something else. Oh. Yeah, it, it's, it's a lot going on in not a great way. It smells like wood shavings, yeah. right? Like a, like a guinea pig cage. But it, it, it's still, it's good, but this one's just. This one almost six tastes like a billion it, times. Yeah, it's called like, 6XO, it's good. It's 6XO, six, six, six. it's six times better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, what, can you imagine a six times? Okay, it'd be awful, I'd die. 
I'm gonna go in for this double oak. Now this is the two oaks down here. It's good. Good. It's a little funk, maybe. It's. It is more simple. So uh, the way I would describe this 2XO, I went back and drank it a couple times, is a tobacco -iness followed by a bunch of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Like if you're smoking a cigar and eating like an angel food cake with strawberries over the top, that's how I'm gonna describe this. Like it, it's very sweet, but it has a tobacco note with it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just have, when you think of double oak, do you think of oak? You think of chocolate and you think of just like it's more of like a, you know, simple thing. Yeah. It's just a simple way to elevate a bourbon. This has a ton of complexity. It does, it does. For a 92 proofer, I, would I never could guess blind that. this with anyone and they would be like shocked. Yep. Just, uh, the amount of complexity and flavor that they get out of this product. I don't understand how it's possible. I'm really excited to try more 2XO stuff in the future. Yeah. So if you've had a lot of 2XO stuff, let us know what's your favorite down in the comments below. Main conclusion of this video, I would buy this bottle to have that as my toasted or double oak product on my shelf any day of the week. We're gonna have to do a double oak blind. Oh, that sounds so fun. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I don't know how this one can't, you know, at least put up a, a, a good fight. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was thinking when I saw this bottle, I was like, this is gonna remind me of Maker's BEP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the toasted oak, uh, staved finish. Um, and it just kind of fell flat. It was just too, you know, toasted note, and that was it. But this one is just so complex, so much. I wish it was a little sweeter if I was gonna give it a little knock. I wish it was a little bit sweeter. But those, like you said, those rich tobacco, almost a coffee yeah. or a dark chocolate, like cacao yep. taste to it is so good. I think if I went in with the mindset that it was not a double oak product, it'd be like the perfect product for this proof, this price and stuff. Then I'm, yeah. the only reason I want a little more sweetness is because I know what, what for double oak tastes like. Yeah, this one is a chocolate bomb. This yeah. one tastes like Hershey's chocolate. A lot of the double oak stuff is sweet. But it's one note. Yeah. It's this maple syrup and it's chocolate. It's really good if that's what you're going for. But this one is complex and dynamic. This gets to a lot of people from non-bourbon drinkers to experts. This You can enjoy this. This is basically the sophistic, it's sophisticated. Yeah, it is, it is. It's that on like steroids. Yeah. Like this it's, is, it's a little bulk here, a little more going on. Yeah, this is barefoot wine. Great, delicious. Yeah. Everybody loves it. But this is like a sophisticated, yeah. like, I don't know, wines, but. French wine. <laughs> yeah, French wine. Also, thank you so much, Discount Tobacco and Liquor, for getting some of these bottles. We have no affiliation with this brand or anything, um, and, but we are very appreciative of Malika Discount Tobacco and Liquor, so go check out him at 717 North Broadway. You can see the address on the screen, and also down in the comments below, it'll be there. His, um, his uh, Instagram and TikTok handles as well. Which is so fun to follow him, because he comes from a different perspective, and has a very good palate on him anyways, and just from a store manager or owner. Yeah, that's my favorite thing when I talk to yeah. him, is he's like, well, as a consumer, I see your opinion, but as me, as a you know person who's trying to sell stuff, it's different, a different, different mindset, and I, I enjoy hearing from him. Uh, so for right now, for the like, next couple of weeks, you can go in there and you can get 15% off of any Wild Turkey products as long as you show that you're following us on two out of our three social medias. I guess there are four social medias. 15% off is a really good deal. From what, Rare Breed, Wild Turkey 101, You can't Wild get 15% off anything at Total Wine no. or at Liquor Barn or anywhere. 15% off is a lot off of, of an alcohol which is already at such a high mark, like low margins and in general. That's a fantastic we deal. love Wall Street products especially, so that's one of the first deals we wanted to give you guys. On top of that, if you do go buy a Wall Turkey product and use that discount, you get put into a drawing to buy a Blanton's at retail. Now, I know how everyone is looking for Blanton's. That is when we first started bourbon hunting. That's one of the bottles that we look for constantly. So I know a lot of you guys want to do that. So make sure you go check out something there. Go buy a bottle of Wild Turkey 101 or Rare Breed. We, Two great bottles. I recommend place. every single Wild Turkey product to anybody at any stage yep. of their bourbon journey. But you're also going to enter yourself in for a chance to win Blanton's. One of the most pleasing things to put on your shelf. Absolutely, beautiful bottle. So thank you guys for watching and cheers. We'll see you next week.